what is this? I don't know. Some man came in and just told me to give it to you. Well, apparently there's a killer out there. Well, you better get off your butt and go find him. This is your body. You're only issued one in your lifetime. It's up to you to take care of it. You can lose some parts along the way and make it just fine. But when things go wrong with the parts that can't be replaced, that's where I come in. I'm Buster Blood Vessel, P.I. Lauren. Yes. There is somebody in a lot of danger. Can you please tell me what this means? Imbalanced nutrition, more than body requirements related to imbalance between activity level and calorie intake as evidenced by BMI greater than 25. Okay, so what does that mean? It means you're fat. They are fat. Whoever I'm not, I'm not yeah. fat. Yeah, whoever so, this is about is fat. Yeah, so what causes that? I mean, what, what can y'all do about it? Well... I gotta save this person. They need to quit eating McDonald's and the dollar menu and Burger King and sizing up. Okay. That's really bad. Mm -hmm. And they need to start exercising and get off the couch. Okay. Quit doing so much of this and run a little bit. Okay. What else? Change their diet. Like I said, with the no McDonald's. No McDonald's. Um, okay. That's really bad. So, um, what else can I do? It's good to set a goal. Small goals, don't do like a weight loss plan of 200 pounds. Like I need to lose 100 pounds, I don't need to set that goal. No, set small goals. That okay. way you feel better when you meet Okay. All right, and um, anything else? Just diet and exercise and keep the food diary. Keep a log of what you're doing. And if there's a smoker, that's really bad, such as what you have in your hand. That's bad. I've got to run out and smoke real quick. Yeah. I'll take care of you, honey. That's COPD. Ah, yeah. I know I gotta quit. I know I gotta quit. Yeah. I gotta quit. Okay, so is, is that it? So that's... Alright. So I'm looking for somebody who's fat. Who eats a lot. Doesn't eat right. They take in more calories than they use. And they have... Probably have some bad habits. Okay, I appreciate it. I'm glad I can help. As soon as I find out something, I'll let you know. I'll be here. All right. Michelle, Blair, can you guys please help me with this? Yes, I've seen this before. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that person is going to die. Can y'all help tell me how to help them? Well, um, first we can uh, access the current diet that they're on. Okay. So what kind of food we're eating. All right. And um, assess their current activity level. If they're not exercising, that's not good. Well, yeah, I was just talking to Lauren, and Lauren said that, well, obviously they're overweight. Probably um, so. Because of that, um, the diagnosis. We can also um, ask them if they can keep a food diary. Okay. Um, we can also ask them if they understand how to read labels. Um, what kind of labels? Food labels. Food labels. Well, yeah, that would be important. Yeah, that way they can understand, you know, how important it is, count the calories, count their sodium, different things like that. Okay. And then also give them an attainable goal that they can reach. That's a manageable weight. That way they can reach their goal in a slow time. Okay and maybe some kind of reward system or something if they achieve those goals mm -hmm. that aren't food oriented? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That sounds good. All right. Well, ladies, thank you. Yeah, no problem. If yeah, I need you, you again, I will come back and see you. All, All right. right. Miss Amy, your colleagues have been gracious enough to help me with my problem. I have somebody who is going to die. They're going to get killed. I have to figure out who it is. So, um, there has to be something that goes along with this. Can you help me out with that? Okay, well, looking at this, I would say that your patient has deficient knowledge related to causes and treatments as evidenced by a request for information. Okay, just asking for information is 
All right, as a cue for you guys. Yes. And what can you do for them? Um, well, we can assess the patient's current knowledge. Okay. We can also um, discuss risk factors, including smoking. Okay. <laughs> All right. Obesity, alcohol intake, sedentary lifestyle, and stress. Okay. We can also discuss treatment options. Okay. We can also discuss medications and how they work. Okay. And we can also encourage regular vision Screen. screenings. Okay. All right. Um, so when I find this person, I just need to bring them back to you guys. Yes. And y'all be able to help me take care of it. Yes. All right. Sounds like a plan. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. All right. Caduceus! Caduceus ringers! Yes. It is all pointing to hypertension. What makes you think that? Obesity. All the risk factors. Obesity. Smoking. Sedentary lifestyle. No exercise. It, it has to be hypertension. Well, you know who they're talking about, right? Who? You. Hey Buster, what's wrong? Looks like I might have hypertension. Hypertension? What are you going to do? Well, I just spent the last two days going around talking to my nurse friends and like I might have to go to the doctor and then back to my nurse friend so that they can help me figure this out. You need to make sure you handle that. I will be doing that immediately. Good job. That's a good first step. Uh, gotta do it. I never knew why I had so much pain. Never any exercising, no moving. And what do I eat? When you're not around, when I am studying, you need these things like Twinkies, cookies, microwave dinners, Popeye sodas. I'm a food center, I gotta just catching up with me. I need to eat like corn and green beans, salad with some lean leaves, whole grain stir food, radishes and red beets because I care. The hypertension will not kill me and I'm a cooking with oil. Throw it in the oven. I got a fast just bad for us. I need a different kind of food and I'm gonna get leaner. You can call me healthy. I'm 
working on getting lean. No, 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 I came without a care. I'll just cook it in some hot air and no more cooking with the oil. Throw it in the oven. Make it on a fast, just fat for us. I need a different kind of food and I'm gonna get leaner. You can call me healthy and baby I'll eat to give me energy. Oh my gosh, y'all, that was perfect. <laughs>